friends and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be discussing why it is not efficient to use bitcoin as it is for everyday transactions and what is the solution for that so let's get to it the main reason of why we cannot use bitcoin as it is is scalability in other words speed as of today bitcoin can process seven transactions per second if the block time is 10 minutes while visa can process about 1700 transactions per second now imagine yourself going into a cafe and having to wait 10 minutes for the transaction to be completed. Not a pleasant experience at all. So what's the solution for this problem? Two researchers came up with an idea to solve the scalability issue by an approach called the Lightning Network. The Lightning Network is basically a second layer added on top of Bitcoin's main net that allows off-chain transactions. In simple English words, let me explain this with an example. We all have that one supermarket that we always go to and they know us since we were five years old. Now let's say that you want to start paying your supermarket bills with Bitcoin, cool right? Let's say that you bought an ice cream and now you want to pay on Bitcoin's mainnet. First, you will pay more in fees than what the ice cream is worth. Second, you will have to wait almost 10 minutes for the transaction to go through and other kids will get mad at you. The solution that the Lightning Network proposes is you can open an off-chain channel between you and the supermarket and since you are the one who's going to open it, you need to pre-fund it. And whenever you buy something, the balance sheet of that channel will be updated. You can make as many transactions as possible as long as the channel remains open and as long as it has enough funds in it. And once you and the supermarket sign that you want to close the channel, the transactions will be balanced and whatever you owe will go to the supermarket and the remaining will go back to you. So only two transactions will be actually recorded on Bitcoin's main net, the opening of the off-chain channel and the closing of the channel. That's how the Lightning Network solves the scalability of Bitcoin, which is a significant barrier that restricts the widespread adoption of crypto for everyday purchases. Now, let me share with you the history of the Lightning Network. Two researchers who were looking to solve Bitcoin's scalability proposed the Lightning Network in 2015. But the Bitcoin uh, network didn't handle the upgrade until the implementation of the segregated witness SegWit in 2017. SegWit was an upgrade to the Bitcoin's network that provided more space for transaction in each block and removed a bug that enabled users to fake transactions. And in 2018, a beta version of the Lightning Network on Bitcoin's main chain was launched. So what are the main benefits of the Lightning Network? The main benefit is that these off-chain channels can host small transactions which gives space for bigger transactions to go through on the main chain, thus reducing the traffic on the main chain. Also, the Lightning Network can conduct fast and cheaper transactions, which allow crypto to be used for everyday purchases. And since it is still connected to Bitcoin's main chain, users can choose to transact bigger transactions on the main chain if they want more security and swap to the Lightning Network for smaller transactions. But like everything in life, there are some drawbacks. One of the disadvantages is that you must have a wallet that is compatible with the Lightning Network. Then you have to pre-fund that wallet from an exchange or another wallet and that will cost you a fee. And after that, you have to lock your Bitcoin to create a payment channel. Another problem that the Lightning Network faces is offline transaction scams. Let me explain. If one of the parties in a payment channel chooses to close it while the other party is offline, the first party can steal the funds. And then when the other party comes online, it's too late. So how does the future look for the Lightning Network? Since the beta version was launched in 2018, the number of nodes on the Lightning Network has doubled year over year, moving the project closer to achieving its goal of making Bitcoin a day-to-day -day transactions currency. The network went from having 6,040 nodes in July 2020 to 12,675 in July 2021. Also, exchanges are now beginning to adopt the technology to optimize their users' Bitcoins withdrawals and deposits. Kraken recently announced that it will be adding support for the Lightning Network in 2021, and P2P exchange Paxwell has integrated the Lightning Network into its platform. Also, Strike launched Bitcoin Lightning Payment app in El Salvador. The adoption of the Lightning Network by well-known exchanges is good news for the network's future. 
And while most agree that the Lightning Network won't be the solution for all of Bitcoin's future challenges, it will certainly play an important role in the cryptocurrency's future. So this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you have a better understanding of what the Lightning Network is trying to achieve. And don't forget to smash the like button for the algorithm and see you next time.